Tewa, referred to as Tewa, is a non-Austronesian, Papuan language spoken on the Pantar Island in eastern Indonesia. The island is the second largest in the Alor archipelago, lying just west of the largest island Alor. There were 4,000 documented native speakers of Tewa in 2010. The speakers live primarily in the Desas administrative village in Indonesian Labong, Bawali, Caleb, Newell, Kader, and Madar, a village of 460 inhabitants as of 2007. Labong is the main village, where Tewa was still spoken by most people, young and old. Nevertheless, the national language of Indonesian as well as the Chinese-influenced Alor Malay tend to be spoken by the younger generations and used for teaching in schools. As a result of this dwindling number of native speakers, Tewa is listed as an endangered language. The grammar of Tewa by Margaret Klamer is the only linguistic documentation besides a short word list from Stokoff 1975. Klamer gathered most of her data in the village of Matter. Tewa, or Bahasa Tewa as it is referred to in Indonesian, means the Tewa language. Tewa itself is a nominal compound and can be translated as Tewa, meaning tree leaf. The term Tewa derives from the name of the main clan that speaks it. Generally, when Tewa speakers refer to their own language, especially to differentiate it from the national language Indonesian, they call it Pataru. 1p.inclusive language, i.e., our language. Tewa is a morphosyntactically simple language with little inflection, and is as such described as an isolating language, also known as an analytic language. It is pronounced by a complex pronoun system. Geography Tewa is spoken on the island of Pantar, which is part of the Alor Archipelago, located between Australia and Indonesia. The island is located approximately 1,000 kilometers from the main island of New Guinea. It stretches 50 kilometers from north to south, and between 11 and 29 kilometers from east to west. The island is split into two distinct geographic regions, the dry and less populated lowlands in the west, and the highlands in the east, which are mountainous, volcanic and densely populated. Classification Tewa is often classified as part of the Trans New Guinea TNG language family, but this is disputed. One reason is little lexical proof, as well as the large geographical distance from the main island of New Guinea. An alternative classification is as part of the Timor Alor Panter language family, which is approximately 3,000 years old. Within this language family, Tewa is further categorized within the sub-family of the Alor Panter AP languages, which are 20 in number. This classification bases on the high number of cognates as well as very similar pronoun systems. Phonology Consonants Tewa has an inventory of 20 consonants, a high amount relative to other Papuan languages. In the table below, the orthographic representation of the sound is given in parentheses to the right. The contrast between the pharyngeal and glottal fricative shows itself as exceptional within the languages of Eastern Indonesia, as is the existence of both liquids, L, and P. The allophones of P, R, P, and P. The allophones of B, R, B, and F. Vowels. Tewa has an inventory of five cardinal vowels. The two high vowels occur as short, I, U, and long, U skeptical smiley face, I skeptical smiley face. As in the consonant table, the orthographic representations are given in the parentheses to the right. The allophones of A are the short A and the long A. Grammar Grammatical relations Grammatical relations are the relations between argument and predicate. In Tewa, these are formally expressed through pronouns from the object and subject paradigms, as well as a strict constituent order. The subject relation is the agent argument of a transitive verb, from here on denoted with A, or the single argument of an intransitive predicate, from here on denoted with S. Both are encoded similarly. 
The object relation is the non-agent argument of a transitive verb, from here on denoted with p basic constituent order tewa is syntactically head final, with object verb constituent order, preverbal subject and object, sentence final verbs, negations, and conjunctions. With intransitive verbs, there is sv order. With transitive verbs, there is apv order. The A of the second transitive verb to it coreferences with shares the same reference as the S of the first intransitive verb YAA in the example above. In this example, the subject A is the pronominal, and the object P is the lexical NP noun phrase. Personal pronouns There are three pronoun paradigms in Tewa, subject, object, and possessive. The theme vowel for singular pronouns is, and for plural pronouns it is. The second syllable of the long pronoun is a copy of the theme vowel with the addition of an N. There is a contrast of inclusive-exclusive first-person plural, one of the most prominent features to diffuse from the Austronesian languages into the Papuan languages. Subject pronouns Subject pronouns appear before the object and verb. The long subject pronoun is used to set contrastive focus me, not you, which can further be marked with la as the focus NP. They look nearly identical to the free object pronouns, save for the threes and three p, elsewhere pronouns. Examples, the short subject pronoun is a reduced pronoun, which can stand alone in place of nominal constituents, and is separable from the verb. Its paradigm is nearly identical to that of the object prefixes, except for the threes, three p, and three p, elsewhere pronouns. Examples, both the short and long object pronouns can express S and A object pronouns. The underlined pronouns are a reminder of the differences to the long subject pronoun and short subject pronoun paradigms, respectively. The object prefix has a consonantal and syllabic in parentheses form. The consonantal form appears before a verb beginning with a vowel, and the syllabic form appears before a verb beginning with a consonant. The object pronoun is for both animate and inanimate reference, whereas the object prefix is exclusively for animate reference. With the 3p third-person plural object prefix, the differentiation of number is lost. In this case, number is specified through use of the additional pronoun gaan, singular, iman plural, or the plural word non in the object np. The threes third person singular object pronoun maintains a further purpose as a demonstrative pronoun to introduce new participants into the discourse. Possessive pronouns The final two pronouns, elsewhere and distributive, are unique. The 3p, elsewhere pronoun is used in a situation where the speaker cannot see the referent, because the referent is somewhere else. For example, Contrast this with the standard, unmarked form 3p. The distributive possessive pronoun taan, ta, or ta refers to a non-collective plural number of human reference, often in reciprocal contexts. One more special possessive pronoun is lian, which marks plurality of the possessor np, and only as an adnominal modifier, compare. Nouns. In Tewa, the noun typically appears as head of the NP. The noun, with a few exceptions, cannot be reduplicated, unlike verbs, adverbs, and adjectives. See reduplication below. There is no marking for number, gender, or case on nouns. Instead, person and number is marked via a possessor prefix on the noun. Noun phrases in possessed NPs, the possessor, the noun which possesses, precedes the possessee, the noun which is possessed, as in the examples below. In non-possessed NPs, the noun comes first, followed by the modifying element, such as an adjective. Noun classes The Tewa nouns can be divided into two main classes, proper nouns and common nouns. Proper nouns Proper nouns are not modifiable. Examples are listed below, male names, Eddie, Goli, Leas, Mace, Nabas, Ribu. Female names, Bruang, Leti, Malai, Mani, Sam. Family names, Biri, Bleger, Bui, Lao, Koli, Ribu, Yunu. Clan names, Barawazi, Barilic, Loksok, Parang Tubi, Kailipi. Common nouns. The common nouns can be further divided into subclasses. 
Nouns with alienable possession In this subclass the possessor prefix is optional. Focus can be placed with use of a long pronoun. Examples include, yaf, house, con, shirt, kavif, goat. Nouns with inalienable possession here the possessor prefix is obligatory, to the point that native speakers will not recognize the word without the prefix. Nouns with inalienable possession include body parts, and kinship terms, except for emaq, wife, where the prefix is optional as with alienable possession. Locational nouns This last subclass of nouns denote location. Examples include, wanan, side, fan. Front. Sibin. Behind. Reagan. Outside. Tag. Upstairs, above speaker, relatively close. Nominalization. There is no dedicated morphology for nominalization in Tewa. Instead the third person 3p, possessor prefix ga has a secondary function of attaching to the root form of adjectives, locational nouns, adverbs, and question words. Verbs Tewa verbs carry no marking for case or gender. There is only one verbal suffix a n for the marking of realis status. Only verbs take an object prefix. Inflected prefixes index person and number traits of animate objects on the verb. Subjects and inanimate objects are not indexed on the verb. Tewa has intransitive and transitive verbs. The transitive verbs are monotransitive, meaning they have a single grammatical object. Verb classes Transitive verbs The transitive verbs in Tewa can be divided into numerous sub-classes, based on how they encode animate and inanimate objects differently. In this case, animate or inanimate refers explicitly to a third-person referent, since first and second-person referents are inherently animate. Class I verbs with an object prefix with an animate object. S B somebody. This class expresses the object with an object marking prefix on the verb. The prefix marks for person and number. The lexical N P is optional and may be used to clarify or disambiguate the referent. Examples of verbs are, and give sb, and sell to sb, a is throw at sb, bun, answer sb, fin, catch sb, lin, invite sb, regan, ask sb, sas, feed sb, wallace, tell sb, way, bathe sb. Examples of such verbs in sentence constructions. The prefix ga on the verb uyan marks for third person singular object, that is for kavif. Goat. Goat is an animate object. Here similarly, the prefix ga on the verb Wallace marks for third-person singular object, that is for yivar. Dog. Dog is an animate object. Class E, verbs without an object prefix, with inanimate object. Sth something. Here the verb encodes the object as a separate nominal constituent. In this class the encoding with a prefix is disallowed. Examples of such verbs are bali, csth, ol, by sth, pa i, cut sth in many small pieces, put cut off grass. An example in a sentence construction The verbs in this sentence have no object prefix, and the object fish is inanimate because it is no longer living. Class e, transitive verbs that take either animate or inanimate objects. Aya. Transitive verbs with prefixed animate object o are free, unfixed, inanimate object. With free inanimate object, object prefix not bound to verb. With prefixed animate object. Notice the important difference in meaning with the use of prefixed pronoun versus a free pronoun. Iiib. Verbs with an animate o are inanimate object, both as a prefix. Third-person object prefixes marking animate or inanimate. 
The contrasts are illustrated in the below translations. A glottal stop is used for animate objects. The canonical form is used for inanimate objects. Sound verbs An interesting class of verbs constituting verbs for sounds made by animals or objects. Experience or predicates These are predicates formed with the body part noun um. Inside Reduplication Reduplication is a morphological process to express greater intensity or the repeated, ongoing nature of an event. In Tewa, the entire root is copied, there exists no productive process for syllable reduplication. A verbs A verbs with the realis suffix Reduplication of the entire stem including the realis suffix takes place. Only verbs can be inflected for realis mood. Of adverbials. Of adjectives. Asterisk the adjectival base is first turned into a verb through reduplication. In order to allow the realis suffix to be reduplicated, only verbs can be reduplicated with a realis suffix. Of numerals. Of nouns. Reduplication of nouns is rarer, and does not serve to express plurality of distributivity. Kinship The Tewa live in exogamous patrilineal clans, the children belong to the clan of the father. The term, Tewa, refers to a group of sub-clans with the same ancestors. The Tewa branch into two moieties, halves, which are separate genealogical supergroups, each of which includes multiple clans. Children are named with one clan name, two, given name three, father. S family name, for example, Tewa Janswa. Ng. Kinship system. The kinship system of the Tewa is based on cross cousins. This means that the children of same-sex siblings are considered to be siblings, brother, sister, and therefore not fit for marriage with one another. Children of non-same-sex siblings of the parents are seen as cross cousins and are the perfect candidates for marriage with each other. These children are also in a different clan than the children of the same-sex siblings of the parents. Kinship terms The main kinship terms are listed here. From the point of view of female ego, the classificatory siblings refer to the actual siblings, as well as the children of the mother's sister and the father brother. As it is considered rude to call family members by their given name, these siblings are addressed as Matu, when older and Bif when younger, and Ka, O when the same sex as the speaker. The classificatory parents are the father's brother, N Oma, my father, as well as the mother's sister, Na Xala, my mother. Each person therefore has two sets of parents. References Further reading Claimer, Marion, 2010, A Grammar of Tewa Claimer, Marion, 2014. The Allure Panter Languages, Linguistic Context, History and Typology. In Marion Claimer, ed. The Allure Panter Languages, His Tory and Typology. Berlin, Language Science Press. 5-53. External links Alphabet and pronunciation